isn't closed by 3 p.m. tomorrow, we're going to have to refund the lender. They're going to have to move out and we're going to have to reclose, which I really don't want to try to drag this guy back into close. Should, should I do anything? Can I do anything? All I would do is email him asking what his intent is. If his intent is to break the contract and he's in breach uh, and just let me know if he says anything. He's ready to talk to an attorney. Of course, it's 6 p.m. All right. Hey, LT. Hey, Maddie, what's going on? Yeah, did you see the email come through that the guy is available finally to take a call from the attorney? Can you call him real quick? Yeah, that's fine. I'll give him a call right now. Okay, thank you so much. Hey, Madison. So I just got off the phone, and let me tell you that 25-minute conversation was the most ridiculous thing. That man is absolutely insufferable, and he talked in circles, first of all. And I'm sure you've been dealing with this the whole time, but um, basically I told him what he's at risk at, that you, buyer's agent, and buyers are all on board with suing him if he does not sign, that he's more than welcome to cancel the contract and be in breach, but these are all the damages that he'll be liable for when they take you, when they, when all of you take him to court. So, uh, we just got off the phone. He said he's going to sign. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I, I'm so ready for this to be over. I, I guess I'll just wait for confirmation on it being signed. Thank you for calling. Breaking the fourth wall here. You guys remember that last email that I sent him asking what his intentions were, if he was intending to break the contract or move forward. I want to cancel the contract. Are, are you, are, are you, fuck, <clears throat> What? Yes, because you never wrote the addendum. What addendum? The addendum to reduce the buyer's agent commission. Because she said no. Why would I write up something that's not going to get signed? She said no, she's sticking to the contract. Well, that should have been done when you reduced your commission. I agreed to reduce my commission, not the buyer's agent. I sent the net sheet to your partner showing my 2% and her 3%. That's what it was accepted. That was what is in the contract. That's how we're closing. Now, is your intent to break the contract and breach again right after the attorney explained what you'd get sued for? Oh my God, we are officially racing against the clock. Has anyone heard anything? Hey, where have you been?